What's happening YouTube? Cesar Randone here and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. Today, we're going to be testing out the Xbox Series S Remote Play. I got to take a trip down to the beach. It's about five, six hours down south. We're meeting my girl's family, but on the way there, I want to test out Remote Play, see if it works. So uh, I want y'all to see it with me. So let's get into it, shall we? Alright, so before even trying out the remote play, what you got to do is enable it on your Xbox. So go to settings, go down uh, to devices and connections, it's the fourth one down, and then go to remote features, hit A, and then make sure that is checked. Alright, so you want to make sure you have the Xbox app. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this button right here and hit remote play on this device. It says remote play works best on a wired or five gigahertz wireless connection. I don't have either of those. The way my apartment's set up, I can't have it wired. Plus I have to go through a specific Wi-Fi. It's annoying, but whatever. I'm gonna show y'all how it is. So we'll do continue. And what I'm doing is the Razer Kishi. If you wanna win one of these, hit that link right there. All you need to do is comment on the video, make sure you're subscribed, and then you can win one of these for free. If you don't want to spend 60 or 70 bucks on these, go ahead and get one of these right here. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Where did the clip go? So if you don't have one of those, what you want to do is get one of these little clips right here. It clips right on to your controller, and then you can put your phone on top right here, and it works great. All right, so now we are connected to Remote Play, and as you can see, my TV screen is the same as the screen on my phone. So the point of this is you could play your games on your console wherever you go, as long as the connection's great. Um, but why I'm using Remote Play instead of Game Pass is because one, if you don't have Game Pass, you could access all your games. Two, is there are some games I have on my console that aren't on Game Pass that I wanna play, like Cyberpunk or Legion, but anyway, let's go, let's hit the road, and let's test this out. All right, everybody, so I got in last night, went straight to bed, have not had time to try this out, but let's try it out right now. So I'm gonna hit this button right here to connect to my Xbox, remote play on this device, Remote play works best on a wired or five gigahertz connection. Continue, remember I don't have any of those, but I am connected to the Wi-Fi here. Try again in a while. We can't connect to your console right now, so that is garbage. Let's try it one more time and see if it works. Maybe it was just bad signal or something. Um, let's see, let's see, nope. So it's not working, so Xbox, can you try and make this a little better? If not, it may be my fault, but I mean, not everybody's gonna have their apartment or a place set up to where it is wired or that great of a connection, so I don't know. We are gonna try Game Pass, though. So if you don't know what Game Pass is, you pay $14 a month and you get access to all these games via the cloud, via PC, and via console. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Gears 5. Let's see, let's see if this works. The only thing is with Game Pass, so Remote Play, I really wanted to play Cyberpunk 2077. They don't have that on Game Pass. I have that on my console, downloaded, ready to go, but I can't play it. But, I mean, if you like Gears 5, Halo, they do have a lot of good games and a lot of good options that you could play. So let's go ahead and let's see if this works at least. There's a good sign. All right, so... We're getting a lot of lag and a lot of pixelation. For some reason, up here it says I have barely any signal. But when I go down, the signal is actually fairly well. Um, what is this? What am I looking at right here? So... Let's try the gameplay. Maybe that was just the intro. Let's try the gameplay. Alright guys, so this right here is Game Pass. This is not Remote Play, but if you have Game Pass, it's working. It's working compared to the Remote Play. However, you are getting some lag, you are getting some pixelation, and oh, look at that, look at that. Hey, wow, it's the cog! Welcome! Now get the hell out. 
out. So, I mean, I guess it works, but still, like I said, if I did want to play Cyberpunk or something like that, or something, a game on my console, and not Gears 5 or anything on Game Pass, right now I can't. But remember, I don't have 5G, I don't have a wired connection, and I don't have that 5 gigahertz, uh, you know, Wi-Fi at my house. But I am using the Wi-Fi here, so I thought it would work, but for some reason it's not. So, I don't know. Maybe let's try it somewhere else and see what happens. <laughs> What's up everybody? We're on the way back home from the trip. So I know it didn't work while we were over there and I doubt it's gonna work in the car for a road trip, but I figured let me just try it and see if it works. So it's kind of hard to do with one hand because I'm holding the camera. So I'm gonna push this right here. Um, let's see, remote play on this device. Yeah, whatever, we always get that notification. Let's see what happens. Oh, it looks like something's loading up, and once again, we get that try again in a while, crocodile. So that did not work. Let's uh, let's try Game Pass, and let's see if Game Pass works. Like I said, I feel the remote play would be a lot better if um, my, my connection was wired to the router, maybe? I don't know. Let's see if Game Pass works. Let's check it out. Let's see. So it's loading up. Okay, at least we got the loading screen. I don't know if y'all could see that. We even got better signal than we did at the place, which is weird. But we're on the road. I'm not using Wi-Fi. I don't have 5G. All right, I'm holding the camera with one hand, so it may be a little hard. All right. Oh, I pushed A a long time ago. Sinking the data. It is taking a little while to load, but it's to be expected. I mean, we're on the road, guys. We are on the road. And someone's calling me. Who's calling me? That's annoying. Alright, now it's trying to reconnect because some spammer was calling me. I hate people who, who call about, would you like to uh, something with your car insurance? So, I mean, right now, it's it's going pretty good. All right, so Game Pass is loaded up. So Game Pass kind of loaded up like nothing. Remember, I only have one hand, so. But, I mean, it's going pretty good. And we're on the road. So, if you have Game Pass, then you are all set, I guess. Because, like I said, I'm playing this. And I am on the road right now, and Game Pass is working like a charm. So that's good to know. Remote Play isn't working as well as Game Pass is working, so I guess get Game Pass, pay a little extra monthly, and you could play it a lot more than you can actually play the Remote Play. Uh, but once again, it's probably just my connection. But I still feel like the best mobile gaming for on road trips is going to be the uh, Nintendo Switch. So yeah, that's my review. I did get the new Crash, so go ahead, subscribe, because I'm probably going to be reviewing that next. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace!